In this video, we will show you the content modes while working on a web page, including edit and preview mode, opening your live site in a new tab, and publishing a web page so it is now visible on your live site. Clicking the live site button will open your live site in a new tab for you. This can definitely come in handy while you're working on your website to see your changes in a nice big view. While you are editing a page, you want to make sure you are on the Edit tab, as well as the Page tab. So that way, if we scroll down, you'll see you do have the editable content boxes. Preview mode is how the page will appear to the target audience once it has been published. It basically allows administrators to see the changes before they are published to the live site. Now a neat thing with the preview mode, if you do have a responsive website, is you can change what size screen you are viewing this on. By default, it will automatically go to a desktop view, but if we click on that drop down, we can actually see what this is going to look like on a mobile device. So here we have our mobile, so we can scroll down, and you've got a nice little scroll bar on here as well. As you are working on your web pages and you do have a responsive design, we definitely encourage you to switch to that smartphone view every once in a while because the view that you're seeing on the smartphone is going to be different than the desktop view. And let's take a look at our live site with our new text. So if we go here, do a refresh. If I scroll down, you'll notice we're currently seeing that text we entered. One thing to note as you are viewing your website in the live view is this message at the top here, letting you know that you're actually currently in preview mode. So right now we're seeing the changes before they've been published. So if we actually close out of that preview mode and we scroll back down, we'll see that we only actually see our map and our web part. That's because even though we've made those changes, we haven't yet published that page. So all those new changes that we have made are not currently visible on our live site. Now let's actually navigate to our live site so we can see that page we created. However, even though we've created it, we're not actually seeing it on our navigation right now. So if I go to the back end of our website, that page isn't appearing because we haven't actually published it yet. You might have been wondering what these colorful icons are on the content tree. Anytime you see this little green check mark, that means that this page has been published. The red X means the page has not been published. And the yellow diamond means the page was published, but we've gone in and we've done some edits. And in order for those changes to appear on your live site, we just must republish that page. Now, keep in mind, publishing a page is the last step. You want to make sure you've set the security for that page and you have all your content up to date because once we do publish, it will be visible on your live site. This is very simple. Just be selected on that page and click that publish button. You'll see that the icon will change right away for you. And now if we actually navigate back to our live site and do a nice refresh, there's our what's new at the club. So if we actually close out of that preview mode and we scroll back down, we'll see that we only actually see our map and our web part. That's because even though we've made those changes, we haven't yet published that page. So all those new changes that we have made are not currently visible on our live site. Okay, so we'll see that yellow diamond here. Remember, in order for those changes to appear, simply do a publish of the page. Now, if we navigate back to our live site and do another refresh, make sure we close out of preview mode, we scroll down that page, we can see our text is now appearing on our live site. 